Hi ladies, it's Kim. I just wanted to take a minute to go over how to set up your Grow Social tabs for your Facebook business page. Uh, if you come to your Jamboree workstation and then go over to the very last tab, you'll see one called Add-on Tools. When you click on that, you'll see this page here. If you have not already selected to sign up for Grow Social, you can click on the link to sign up and have it added to your professional website account. Uh, when that's ready to go, you'll see a pink box that says Access Account. You can select that and it will launch your Grow Social page. This is the first screen that you'll get. And this first box here is called Facebook Tabs. You can click on that and it'll come up with your tabs. Now you can see I already have my Facebook linked um, with my tabs in it, but I'll go ahead and start with the new one so I can walk you through how to set it up. So you'll go to create new tab once you're on this screen and it'll ask you what do you want to do. You can do a giveaway, photo contest, video contest, choose a template, or blank canvas. You'll want to start with choose a template. So click on that and it'll highlight it orange and then click on get started. Once you're here, this is the screen that you will see. If you look over here on the side, you'll have different options. And here at the bottom, you'll have one that says Jamboree Nails. You can click on that and then it's going to come up with different templates that are already ready to go. You'll see host a party, join my team, shop my catalog, request a sample, request a fundraiser, and then there's one for a photo contest. So we'll go ahead and start today with request a sample. So you'll just click on this and it'll come up with the template already done and ready to go. So you just go ahead and come over to edit this theme. And you'll have it here. So everything's ready. You have your sample pictures and your little blurb here and then it has the area for them to go ahead and put in their name, address, and email with a submit link. So you want to click on this box and here in the corner you will see a form tab come up. Click on the very first one here that says form format and then in here you're going to see email results too. So you'll want to go ahead and change this to your email address. That way you can make sure that when your customers get on to request a sample, it goes to your email so you can respond and send it out. So, And then also down here at the bottom, it has the button text. You can go ahead and change that. You can leave it to submit or like I changed it to request now and that'll change it here and then you'll be ready to go. So once you decide okay this is what I want it to look like and you verify that you do have your email in there so that when people request their sample you're notified you can come up to the top and you can change the image picture it will give you the option to upload your own photo or you can choose from ones that they already have so we'll go ahead and just go with a little cute purple click now or click here and then you select done then you're gonna want to come up to where it says new tab click here and you're gonna want to rename the tab you don't want it to say new tab so once you have that you can change it to request a sample or whatever you would like it to say and then you click on save changes then you're going to come over to choose a fan page so when you select choose a fan page if you don't already have your fan page linked to your account it'll prompt you to do so at this point so once it's done it will show here so you can just select it and you'll see okay you have your your image, request a sample, and where it's going. So when you're ready, you can just go ahead and select publish to fan page, which we can go ahead and do. And it'll give you review and publish, so you can look over everything one more time. 
and then go ahead and publish now. And then here it says congratulations, your tab has successfully published. So you can go to your launch pad, which will take you back to the main screen of Grove Social. You can edit your tab if you realize, oh, you know, you needed to change something. Or you can view it on your Facebook. So here you come over, and this is my page, request a sample. There's two there because I already have one. And um, you can see it here. So then you can go ahead and come back, and now we can go back to our launch pad, Facebook tabs, and then you can go ahead and go to create new tab, same thing, come in, choose a template, get started, and now we can go ahead and come in and go back to Jamboree Nails, and let's do join my team. Okay, this will be the same for join my team or host a party. When you come in, you go to edit this theme. This one's a little different. This one's linked with your URL. So you'll click on the learn more button. This will pop up here in the corner. And then you can see that it has the main Jamboree page automatically there. You want them to be able to go to your page. So what I did is you come up and you go to your Facebook page or your Jamboree website so you can see that you know make sure it's yours and then you can come over to if you're doing your host do host or join click on join and then you're still on your page with the the join link so then I just came up here clicked here copy and then you can come back and paste it in. And this way they're going to go to your site. It just makes it a little bit easier. And then you can do the same thing again. You can change your image, change the name of the tab, choose to link it to your Facebook page, and then go ahead and publish. Now when you're, and like I said, you'll do the same thing with your host tab as you did with the join. When you have them here to view, you can edit them. You can use your mobile link, which I use that. I just started a Facebook party and an event page. And so when I did my post about requesting a sample, I also included the mobile link. So, and they can use it from their desktop or their mobile, and they can click on it and request their sample right there from the party, which makes it really nice. Um, you could also choose to delete them or publish and unpublish them if you don't like them. So we'll go ahead and delete that one. Now when you're setting up the cat, your shop tab, it's going to be the same thing. You'll want to come in, start, go back to Jamberry, shop your catalog, edit, then you'll click the shop now button and you'll want to make sure that you put your URL in here. That way they go to your Jamboree website page. And then the same thing, change your, if you would like, change your image, put in shop, link it to your page, and then publish. So it's pretty simple. And when you come back out to your Facebook page, let's see, you'll see your tabs up along the top. So I have request a sample and shop, and then you'll see more. And so you can click on more and you can see your other tabs here. And then you can go to manage tabs. Whenever you add a new one, it'll go to the bottom. So there's the request a sample that we just did. And you can move it wherever you would like. So that way, the ones that you want will show on your main screen. And then you just click save. And also you'll see them here on the site. Now you won't be able to view tabs from your mobile device so you can use that mobile link and post it into you know, your status update or what I did for the request to sample is if you go into my about I included it here so you can see I put request to sample here and the link is there so if people go to read more about 
my page from their mobile device, they'll be able to either go to my website or they can just come straight on on their mobile device and request a sample that way. Um, so that is how to use your Grow Social and create your tabs. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.